Now on four, turn on your receiver for Cat Dad. Hi, welcome uh, to the programme. Now, I was just, uh, must tell you, I was just in, the, in our canteen here at the studios just a few minutes ago getting a, uh, getting a cup of tea before the rigours of this programme, and I met a, a show business type who was in the, the queue in front of me. You get these types at TV studios. And he turned around to me and said, Hi, baby, love the show. And I thought, baby love? Well, that's very appropriate, really, because we're all Supremes here. <laughs> was that a joke? Yes. <laughs> Are you in showbiz, are you? <laughs> well, That's you... news. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, yeah. who matched that jacket I, with I that tie? I'm sorry, <laughs> but really, Richard, did you do it? Yes, I did, actually. <laughs> I did because the wardrobe girl has gone home. No, she hasn't. Oh. Anyway, we are all a Supreme here, as you know, and we've got uh, two great Supremos, as I indicated to you yesterday. Here they are in our... Quest for the Supreme Championship, two more contestants, David Elias and Andrew Perry. <laughs> David Elias, here he is. Lives in Nottingham, although when he opens his mouth, you'll know that he's a Welshman. He's 58, believe it or not. He's married and uh, he's a quiz question setter, so he should be at home here. Um, he appeared on Countdown back in 1994, wearing the same shirt as he's wearing today. <laughs> Still fits. <laughs> Still fits. Yeah. So does this jacket, actually. <laughs> uh, and uh, he became champion of Series 27. David's hobbies include knife throwing and photographing teddy bears. Uh, he has an, over <laughs> an overall record on Countdown of seven wins out of nine. And if you want in his target practice, David, I can recommend one or two people here today. <laughs> So welcome and good luck to you, David Elias. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, here's uh, a character here, Andrew Perry. Here he is. Uh, 14 years of age now is Andrew. He comes from Farringdon in Oxfordshire. Now, Andrew was 11 months old when Countdown first, <laughs> <laughs> first went on the air in November the 2nd, 1982. See, yes, he was 11 months old when we first had our first programme, but he was 11 years old when he first appeared on the, the programme in series 26. Now, Andrew did fantastically well. He won nine games before he was beaten in the final by Andy Bodle, who we saw last week. And he now has a record of nine wins out of 12, so it's great to see him back, and uh, we wish him the very best of luck. Andrew Perry. That's a great shot, that, isn't it? Lovely. Now, uh, yesterday, our guardian of the diction was flushed with success as he scored with a seven-letter winner, Blusher. And he's hoping that'll be a solid foundation to make up more winners today. It is with Susie Dent, of course, Philip Franks. Thanks very much, Richard. Uh, now, before the, before the needle tension gets underway, here's another quick limerick from the pen of Ogden Nash. A llama of Outer Mongolia was seized by acute melancholia. When the Chinese asked why, he could only reply, you'd chop off my head if I told you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, David, are you ready for it? Oh, I suppose so, yes. Are you going to do it now, Andrew? Yep. Yeah. OK, boys, off you go. David to go first. Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, David. N. And another... T. And a third. And Z. I'll have a vowel, please. OK. O. And another. A. And another. Another vowel. I. And a consonant. P. Another. R. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. And E. 
Thank you very much indeed. The first countdown is in the frame, so let's go on with the game. Yes, thank you. David. Nine. First word he says, nine. Uh, Andrew. Nine. <laughs> well, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Andrew. Patronise. Patronise. David. Ditto. Patronise. Patronise. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, well done. That's terrific. That's a, that's a classic start. Did you sort of see? I don't know, did you see it straight away, or fifteen yeah. seconds, twenty seconds? What? When do you no, see? About twenty-five seconds. About twenty-five seconds. Yeah. What about you? Um, about ten seconds. About ten seconds. Well, well. <laughs> heck, heck. Well, eighteen points straight away. So, uh, let's follow that, Andrew, please. Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Andrew. G. Consonant. T. And another one, please. And another one. R. Vowel. I. Another vowel. A. Another vowel. I. Consonant. W. Another consonant. Another one, Andrew. C. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. Thank you very much, Andrew. And that's A. Good, so the second game begins now. Try a six. You're trying a six, and David. I'll try a five. Okay, well, I have your five, David. Carrot. Carrot. Yes. And your six. Agaric. A G A R I C. Mm. It's a kind of poison, is it? Mm. You think? I'm Th sure it'll be fine. fine, Andrew. Yep. Just double check, as always, and it is in. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> Well. Not not poison. It's any fungus um, of of a certain family with a cap and stalk, and the edible mushroom is included in it. Oh. I stand corrected. <laughs> it would of course have been tragic had it not been allowed, uh, <laughs> and you could have had tragic for six. Yeah. Well, a garrick. Well, this is quite a game, isn't it? Uh, round three. Uh, then uh, David, please. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. D. Another. S. And a third. And K. A vowel, please. A vowel. I. Another. E. And a third. Third vowel. U. Consonant. L. Uh, another consonant, please. F. And a final consonant. And a consonant, thank you. And T. Yep. So round three starts now. Six. And you would say, Andrew? Try an eight. Right, trying an eight here. Yeah. <laughs> I can cope with this. Oh, we'll hear the six then. Uh, fluted. Fluted, yes, fluted. Now an eight you're trying. Flukiest. 
Well, the dictionary says uh, that it's obtained more by chance than skill, but that's absolutely not mm. true in Andrew's case. Flukiest mm. is there. Excellent, as you can see there. Yeah. For 1832, now, and, and, let's see the numbers, please. One, two, one, two, please, Carol. Okay, one big number, and then five smaller ones. Thank you, Andrew. And we have, smallest of all, of course, one, followed by another one. Sorry, six, nine, three, and 50. Not too bad, I don't think. And the target is, oh, yeah. heck, pathetic, oh, well. 350. Okay, we can just breathe the last 350. Here we go. Yeah, 350 uh, chaps, obviously. David? Yes. Yeah, Andrew? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Carol, where are you? I'm here. They've both got it, they say. I just had a little kit for Andrew. Yeah, <laughs> that, uh, they say they've both got it, Carol. Yeah, have you got it? Yes. Go on then. Uh, I can't. <laughs> you're in the way, I can't see it. No, you should remember it, Richard. Go on. Uh, six plus one is seven times 50. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Isn't he amazing? <laughs> Thank you. For an octogenarian? Not just... <laughs> <laughs> OK, 28 and uh, 42 is the score at half-time, and half-time wouldn't be half-time without uh, one or two things to do from Philip. Um, it's a, it's a food-related game today. Um, it's always a subject close to my heart. Um, uh, but we're steering off meat, we're concentrating on fruit and veg. It's the, it's the fruit and veg films. <laughs> um, uh, how many films can you think of with types of fruit or vegetable in the title? Um, James and the Giant Peach, for example, is one that you might have had if I hadn't said it first. OK, uh, films with fruit in. I've just got down one so far, The Clockwork Orange. OK, any more, anybody? Yeah, David, yes, The Grapes of Wrath is Very a good one. Good. Very good. Quickly in the audience, anybody? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, not really a fruit. <laughs> From the chocolate it's fruit. Tree. Well, it could well, be sort of fruit, box of chocolates with strawberry filling, I suppose. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see what we can come up with and see you, uh, of course, again in part two. Thank you. <laughs> Don't ever go out without Sympatex. The invisible, high-performance membrane built into clothes to come between you and the elements with maximum protection. Waterproof, breathable, windproof. So, whatever the weather, you're safe. Sympatex, look for the blue triangle. Super Fresco Color Reflect Texture Fabulous Lotion. Looking for a wall covering with a bit more to it? Super Fresco Color Ristic Texture Fabulous. One with more choice of colors and designs. Super Fresco Color Ristic Texture Fabulous. One which is easy both to hang and strip. Super Fresco Color Ristic Texture Fabulous. Then go right out and ask for it by name. Super Fresco Color Reflect Texture Fabulous. Super Fresco from Graham and Brown. Isn't anything else just wallpaper? From Land's End to John O'Groats, and back again. People who cook for a living are the pickiest people on earth. That's why they cook with Uncle Ben's long grain rice. Uncle Ben's uses only the finest grains. It's fluffy, great tasting, and perfect every time. No wonder more restaurants serve Uncle Ben's than any other rice, meal after meal. Uncle Ben's, perfect every time. It costs less to keep in touch with BT's friends and family. When you get your bill, you can support the savings on the friends and family straight away. That's up at the end of the year, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We ring the, the, the same numbers all the time. I think we maybe still talk a bit longer because we've got the bonus of having a discount with friends and family. You can save 10% with BT's friends and family. Call 0800 05 55 55. We phone uh, Jean's brother in Normandy and maybe once a week. I phone Wales regularly to my brother who lives in Pembroke. You've got to use the phone. So if you're going to use it, you might as well save money. It's good to talk. Specially baked for a thicker crust. The new farmhouse loaf raised the whole.
this way. Switch to Barclay Card and see how many pounds they could knock off your balance. One hundred and fifty. Call now, 0800 49 29 29. Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance. The stunning soundtrack to his sensational stage show. An album full of Celtic magic that will lift your spirits and fire your passion. Lord of the Dance, the album, an unforgettable musical experience. Out now. through our larders and deep freezers uh, mentally and fruit bowls. What have we come out with for some films with fruit and veg connections? Um, quite a lot, quite a lot. Um, there's What's Eating Gilbert Grape. There's uh, Woody Allen's Bananas, of course. Ingmar Bergman's Wild Strawberries. Uh, the Lemon Drop Kid with Bob Hope. Um, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I enjoyed that particularly. Uh, Raisin Arizona. Um, <laughs> the Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. And, of course, Mash. <laughs> right, Carol came up with Anne of Green Gages. Sorry. <laughs> uh, someone in the audience, uh, Vegetable Superman. Uh, night, <laughs> pair, night Pair on Elm Street. And uh, yours truly, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. Because there's an ugly fruit, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. OK, now we go on with this game, which is anything but ugly. It's a very, very good game indeed. David Elias on 28. And uh, Andrew Perry there on uh, 42. So we're zooming into you, Andrew. So please take it away. Start with a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you very much, Andrew. R. Another one. G. And another. D. Vowel. O. Another vowel. E. A consonant. V. A vowel. A vowel. A. Consonant. R. And another consonant, And please. another consonant, thank you. And P. So that's a letters game. Round number five, the countdown starts now. you, Andrew, to say? Six. Six, David? Six. Six, David, six. Pard, P-A-R-R-E-D. Pard, look at pard, and Andrew? Regard. And regard. Regard, well, obviously, Regard fine. is fine, we're, we're yeah, poised with pard. Have a look at pard. What sense, David, while they're looking at the thing? golf, do yes. you play holes in par? He parred the yes. next yeah. five holes. Mm. P-A-R-R-E-D. Par, in fact, I'm afraid, is only in the dictionary as a noun, which is a young salmon. It's not there as a verb. A single R? Um, you mean, oh, I see what you mean, the inflection, sorry. The verb sorry. is single R, but My then... fault. My fault there. No, it's still only there as a noun. Yep, with one R or two. All right, then, young Phil. Can't do any better. There are a few sixes. There's drover or groped, but, uh, but six, oh. six is it. Yeah. OK. Uh, so regard, we had regard there for six. Yeah. Okay. So 28, 48, or round six. David, please. Constant, please. Yeah. Thank you, David. D. And another. M. And a third. And S. And a cons uh, another consonant. Uh, you do want a consonant. Yes, please. M. A vowel. E. And another. I. And a third. Another vowel. E. And a consonant. S. Um, and another consonant, please. Thank you very much. And another N. Ooh. So there we go. 
Uh, DSM there, so some, 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 let's have some distinguished service in the next 30 seconds. Here we go. David. Six. Six again, Andrew. Seven. Seven, six, Seven. please. Mest. Mest. What's the seven? Demises. Demises, plural. Okay. Yes, absolutely, absolutely fine. fine. Yeah. It's also a verb. Oh, is it? Demise, yep. Okay. Well Demise. Demises. Oh, that's what we had to. Yeah. Can't do any better. No, okay. Uh, okay, scores go up. 28 and uh, 55. Three rounds to go. Last letters game belongs to you, Andrew. A consonant, please. Thank you, Andrew. T. Another one. S. And a third. V. Another one, please. N. A vowel. O. Another vowel. I. Another vowel, please. U. Consonant. D. I'll finish with a vowel. Thank please. you very much. Andrew. And that is another O. So that's the final lineup letters wise. So let's start the clock on this. For the last time, Andrew. Only five. You've got five, David. I'm afraid only five as yes. well. What's yours, David? Sound. Yes, sound. Yours? Same word, sound. Sound. Yeah, we hear that. Sound for five. Philip? There are a couple of sixes. Um, studio. Or the, the horrible American spelling of donuts. As <laughs> D O N U T S. I'm not proud of that one, but uh, studio. Yeah, well, higher. studio is nicer. Yeah. But I bet those boffins at Oxford, Susie, I bet they really hated having to include donuts spelt like that. Not yeah. at all, actually, no, because obviously what we're trying to reflect is international English, not just British English. So, um, like in fact, it's very important. English, yeah. Not, yeah. It, oh, come on, it must have hurt them, you know. I bet they, no, I bet they didn't enjoy their lunch that so. day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> our donuts. Um, no, I think it's very important that we reflect, obviously, both, um, both spellings, both languages. So yeah. um, that doesn't hurt too much. OK. Right, well, we're done with the letters, 33 and 60. And, uh, David, numbers, please, sir. Well, I'll have one from the top, please, Carol, and uh, any five non-contiguous smaller numbers. That means that they're not together, doesn't that it? That does, yes. OK. I'm not very good with long words, you see. <laughs> OK, that's uh, two and four, another two and three, eight and 75. The target is 511. So that's what we want this time, folks. 511. 511. So 511 we want, David. Yes, 511. thought so, Andrew? No. Uh, you haven't got it. OK, so, David, the uh, floor is yours, sir. 75 minus 2. 75 minus 2 is 73. 4 plus 3 is 7. Multiply. 4 plus a 3 gives you 7. Multiply those two together and you do have 511. Good. OK, well done. Good, so now we come uh, to our old friend, the conundrum here, so not crucial in this case, with the scores 43 and 60, but uh, we want to win it nevertheless, because we've got some good high scores. So if you're both ready, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. No, 
It's a nice word. You'll groan when you see it, actually. Here it is. Oh, uh, yes. Classmates. Classmates. Well, I should think, Andrew, your classmates at school will be very proud of you because with 60 points, uh, Andrew Perry, you get a place in the semi-final. Well done. OK, so well done to you. Uh, bad luck to you. Good to see you again. Colourful character in every way, David. Thank you. And I know you won't be absent from our screens very long because you contribute to one or two other quizzes on this and other channels. Usually behind the camera, though. OK, well, yes. <laughs> who knows? It's a safer place to be, I think, these days. <laughs> OK, well, David, uh, thanks very much indeed, and we have this little memento for you. So farewell to David Elias. OK, well, that was a really uh, remarkable game. I said it uh, was going to be... I had no idea how remarkable it was going to be with the nine-letter word at the beginning, of course, and all the great words from Andrew. But uh, tomorrow is the first of our semi-finals of this group, so here we have uh, Clyde Friedman and uh, Evan Simpson there. So those two are battling it out tomorrow, so we'll see them. And, of course, Philip, we won't see you, sadly, tomorrow, because the, the days time. are up, but we thank you very much indeed for being terrific and a lot of fun. So thank you for you, Philip. Thank so you. goodbye to you, Bye -bye. Susie and Carol. Yes. So for me, just to say, June Whitfield joins us tomorrow, so until then, goodbye. <laughs>